Mayor Todd Gloria today revealed how he plans to spend upwards of $300 million of stimulus funds estimated to reach the city's coffers. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains why the influx of cash won't keep the city out of financial danger. The mayor says he'll take a three-pronged approach once that money comes in. One, defeat COVID. Two, protect city services. And three, give San Diegans the tools they need to recover from the pandemic. Mayor Todd Gloria says the city is seeing unprecedented demand for its services while its finances are suffering. You could shut down the entire Park and Recreation Department and barely balance the budget, right? At a time when San Diegans are using the parks more than ever, right? Amid the pandemic, city library services have been cut, trash pickup has been stretched thin, and city employees are transitioning to fill gaps in services. And Gloria's concerned it could get worse. Significant significant. But he expressed optimism Tuesday over the new stimulus package, which could inject $300 million into City Hall. The city is facing an $86 million budget deficit through June 30th. That amount balloons to $154 million next fiscal year, which starts July 1st. This particular relief is transformational. Gloria says he wants to use the money to shore up this year's budget, boost vaccine distribution, invest in services for San Diego's most vulnerable, and create resources that help small businesses navigate COVID. But Gloria cautioned, the budget woes aren't over because a key part of San Diego's ability to survive depends on tourism still floundering amid the pandemic. John Horn, ABC 10 News. It's unclear how much of the estimated $300 million will be tied to specific areas of spending. The city may also receive the funds in two separate lump sum payments.